Hey, we're the Eastwoods and welcome to Eastwood Bound. This is Tristan, I'm Chelsea, and here are our three boys, Lucas, Noah, and Finn. Subscribe and follow us as we build our motorhome and explore Australia. Thanks. At the request of a few followers, I'm going to show you how our fold-out bed works and a few little tips and um, things to look out for when you're making it. <clears throat> so I'll run through the, the way it folds out into our bed um, during the day. It's obviously a couch. We also have another couch over here. Um, and the two can connect if we wanted to, uh, but we opted for a length that would fit um, your my wife and I both long ways. Um, we did have panels up here for extra storage space, but we chopped those out, made it longer so it can double as a day bed or fold out and be a, a bed going this way, uh, north south, or connect to this, which slides out and make it a east west bed. Either way, we both fit. So to pull it out as a bed, Simple as that, um, and then this connects through like so. I'll probably put a little, a few little rubber pieces under there just to give it some grip, and the mattresses will fit into those gaps. And to fold it back up again. handles very handy and just like that so some things to look out for when you measure and cut and whatnot are I'll just show you where I started the section at the back here is uh, a piece of piece of timber, a piece of pine that's been bolted into the the frame, and that's brought out this hinge far enough to um, provide the backrest, uh, you know, to allow the backrest to sit at a slight angle. Uh, in hindsight, I would have brought this out more. At the moment, it's 65 millimeters. I, would, I could have easily gone out to 100, um, and that, that would have allowed plenty of rooms to still access underneath. So uh, I would have gone out 100, put these hinges on. Um, this piece here is measured from that backboard to uh, the edge of the seat, minus five mil. Uh, you've also got to allow these gaps for where the hinges um, are screwed into the timber there. Uh, this piece is from you know, five mil from the outside edge, um, where the, this piece is, all the way back, well not all the way back, sorry, all the way back, which determines the angle of that backrest. Um, you also got to take into account if, if you want to connect it to another bench on the other side or you want it to come out a certain distance, um, the width of this will affect that. So not only does it affect the angle of your backrest, but it will also affect how, determine how far out your bed comes. What I'll do is I'll just move the camera around so you can see uh, from a better angle, the angle of the backrest. I'm 
I'm not sure if you can see it, but that angle is just over 90 degrees. Um, not entirely happy with that, but it won't fall over once the cushions are in and it will give you a bit of extra depth um, to sit. Uh, something else to take into account and to uh, yeah, just be mindful of is getting these hinges to all line up. <clears throat> So what I did was uh, measure how far up one hinge is going to be and just drew that straight line all the way across. I put little bits of timber chocks under there to hold this up and um, yeah, put the screws in. What I did beforehand was set up a mini model so I could get the positioning of the hinges right because these hinges are underneath, the other hinges are on top uh, to give it that that sort of that action, that Z sort of folding action. Um, another thing, how I mentioned that uh, these panels had to be just shorter than the, the frame here. The reason being is this part that folds over becomes the second part section of the bed it needs to have enough of a lip to support your weight um, yeah you've got the hinges there to to help you know hold that but um, they're only tiny little screws in the hinges so having a lip that uh, is deep enough for that timber to be supported is definitely important and the reason why I put so many hinges here is because I have to rely on the hinges for that 90 degree leg. Um, I'm also going to put maybe some little rubber strips on here uh, to prevent the um, the legs from slipping from underneath us while we sleep, which shouldn't happen. Um, and also this uh, chipboard um, that I bought, I forget what it's called, uh, you can also buy the edging. So I've done the edging, uh, all the edging myself. Um, it's a little bit rough, but you can get a little touch up paint to uh, finish it off quite nicely. Uh, I might make a little video on, on how to do that. It's a pretty handy little trick to have. Uh, and that should cover it. <laughs>